Hi, and welcome back to the Be Energy Wear podcast. I'm your host, Brian Katanik. Let's keep in touch on Instagram at Be Energy Wear or through our website, BeEnergyWear.com. If you like this podcast, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much. Empowered by being aware of energy in day-to-day life, making empowering decisions and thriving, consciously creating with the help of meditation, self-healing, creativity, and expression. Being aware of our emotional and mental energy, as well as the energy that surrounds us in our day-to-day life, enables us to make empowering decisions. Using our intuition and trusting ourselves when making those decisions help us to create a much better life. It's about empowerment and thriving. And so again, what do I mean when I say being aware of energy? For those who are tuning in for the first time, there's the energy of our thoughts and the energy of our emotions. And there's also the energy of our environment. We need to be aware of what energy we bring and what kind of energy surrounds us. And then we need to know how to best deal with both. We also need to know how to use all that to heal ourselves so that we can function at our optimum and live the best life possible. And that's why on this podcast, we talk about meditation, self-healing, creativity, and expression, all of which deepen our awareness and bring about a profound healing. Now on to today's theme. I've thought about this quite a bit, and what I've come to is that I really feel that everyone has a message to share, whether they're aware of it or not, and even whether they want to share or not. We can learn something from every person we ever meet. What they're good at doesn't necessarily have to be their job. They don't have to make a living doing it. If we look closely, And if we are open, we can learn from them. So what would the world be like if every person was actively sharing what they're good at and what they love doing, and the message that's behind it, and also their story? What many times happens is that what people are good at and what they truly, truly love doing is not on society's list of valued and respected vocations, which means that doing what they love involves taking risks and might not get them the recognition they seek. But we take risks anyway, and some people will tell you that conforming to something so that the society values you more is an equally big risk. So would you rather do your own thing and fight for what you believe in, or conform and live a life that you don't really want to live? Do you think it's possible to have an amazing life doing what you love. Let me know. Message me on Instagram at BeEnergyAware or leave a comment. You can also get in touch through my website, BeEnergyAware.com. And leaving a review on Apple Podcasts is always so much appreciated, as well as sharing this podcast with your friends. And if you want to learn lifelong tools that will help you no matter which path you decide to take, Then get my audiobook, Get Empowered, or sign up for my mentorship. Take care, and I will talk to you again soon.